During 1967, Vietnam and race riots were surrounding all the events we are about to discuss. Cities like Detroit and other locations around the North were being devastated by civil unrest, while hippies flocked to San Francisco for psychedelics and the counterculture lifestyle. This was the year of the Summer of Love, but there was a noticeable shift in the sense of stability that was enjoyed in the suburbs. On January 15th, Super Bowl I was held at the LA Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles. The Green Bay Packers beat the Kansas City Chiefs 35 to 10, and the MVP of the game was Green Bay quarterback Bart Starr. A fire broke out in the Apollo 1 command module on January 27th and killed astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee. The three astronauts were running through a pre-flight test when the fire started. The Apollo program was put on hold while an investigation took place. It was concluded that the most likely cause was a spark from a short circuit, which mixed with the large amounts of oxygen in the cabin. On March 14th, the body of President John F. Kennedy was moved to its final resting spot within Arlington National Cemetery. The Kennedy family and Arlington officials chose to move JFK's grave in order to construct a safer, more stable eternal flame and to accommodate the number of tourists that visited each year. On April 15th, amidst growing opposition to the U.S. war in Vietnam, large-scale anti-war protests were held in New York, San Francisco, and many other cities. In New York, they marched from Central Park to the United Nations and included Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who also spoke at the event. A simultaneous march in San Francisco was attended by Coretta Scott King. In Houston, Texas, boxer Muhammad Ali refused military service on April 28th. He was then stripped of his heavyweight title and barred from professional boxing for the next three years. Ali cited religious reasons for his decision to forego military service. On April 29th, Aretha Franklin released the song, Respect. The song was originally written and recorded by Otis Redding, but the Queen of Soul made it her career-defining song. It would go on to be named Billboard Song of the Year. On May 1st, Elvis Presley married Priscilla Beaulieu, at the Aladdin Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Nine months later, they welcomed a daughter named Lisa Marie. Sadly, the marriage would only last six years, but the two remained friends. On June 12th, the United States Supreme Court ruled in Loving v. Virginia. The decision made all state laws prohibiting interracial marriage unconstitutional. The very first day of the Monterey International Pop Festival was held on June 16th in Monterey, California. 50,000 people attended what began the Summer of Love, and acts like Jefferson Airplane, Jimi Hendrix, and Janis Joplin entertained the crowds, and their music would go on to shape the history of rock and roll and affect popular culture from that day forward. On June 25th, 400 million viewers watched Our World, the very first live international satellite television production. 18 countries were involved, and the program finished with the debut performance of All You Need Is Love by The Beatles. On July 1st, the Beatles album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, went number one in the United States. 
the album would stay there for 15 weeks. August 30th saw the confirmation by the United States Senate of the first black Supreme Court Justice, Thurgood Marshall. In all, 69 senators voted to confirm him, while 11 were opposed. Marshall would remain on the court for the next 24 years. On September 11th, The Carol Burnett Show, starring Carol Burnett, premiered on CBS. The show would produce 278 episodes, and it won 25 Primetime Emmy Awards over the course of the series. On October 20th, just before Halloween, Roger Patterson and Robert Gimlin's video camera introduced the world to Bigfoot. The recording was made at Bluff Creek in California and set off a frenzy to find Bigfoot. On December 9th, police arrested Doors frontman Jim Morrison as he performed on stage at the New Haven Arena. An incident that took place between Morrison and a police officer before the show led to Morrison's public arrest, making him the first rock star ever taken into custody during the middle of a performance. Morrison was charged with obscenity and inciting a riot. On December 10th, Otis Redding was flying to Madison, Wisconsin for a concert when his private plane crashed into the frigid waters of a small lake three miles short of the runway, killing seven of the men on board, including Redding. Prior to leaving, Redding had partially recorded sitting on the dock of the bay, and he had whistled a verse as a placeholder. The unfinished version, with the whistling, would be released weeks later, and would soon become history's first posthumous number one hit. To finish the year, on December 31st, Daredevil Evil Knievel attempted to jump over the water fountains at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Knievel's jump was a 141-foot attempt and his longest to date. Knievel's jump came up short, and he landed on a safety ramp, which caused the handlebars to be ripped out of his hands as he tumbled over them onto the pavement. The daredevil crushed his pelvis and femur, fractured his hip, wrist, and both ankles, and was in a coma for 29 days. <laughs>